Tonight, we gather in friendship to celebrate the success of these graduates in our collective efforts to provide a quality education for these young adults. It is our pleasure tonight to have in attendance Deputy Mayor Brian Butler, Kim Oakley, Director of Student Support Services, the Honorable Greg Turner, Anna Muck from Arkansas, Dominic Votor, our District Educational Council Rep, uh, Nick Manitol, Principal of Bestor School, Kim Mowat from our PSSC, and Dr. Jean-Paul Boudreau, President and Vice Chancellor of Mount Allison University, will who will address the, the students tonight. I'd like to thank Peyton Song for this evening's mu musical prelude and the musician of the RCMP Pipes and Drums for the dramatic processional leading to the graduate into the, ball, into the hall this evening. Would you now please join in the singing of our national anthem and remain standing for the invocation.
the jitters today. It's been a few years, so I'm going to try to get this right. For the past four years, the British Begotten Community has had the privilege of watching tonight's graduate grow, mature, and learn. It seems fitting at this time to ask each person in attendance tonight to pause and reflect privately on the meaning of this turning point in, our, in the lives of our grads. Our thankfulness for the spirit and energy, our pride in their acknowledgement, and our hope for their futures. Please join me in a moment of silent reflection. Thank you. Please be seated. At this time, I would like to uh, welcome Ms. Kim Oakley, Director of Student Services uh, from Anglophone East, to the stage. Good evening, everyone. I can't tell you how much this evening warms my heart for several reasons. We're in this space together. The sun is shining the bagpipes are playing, and the Highlanders are graduating. I'm Kim Oakley, Director of Education Support Services for Anglophone East School District, and it is my pleasure and my honor to bring greetings from the Office of the Superintendent tonight as you celebrate the significant achievement of graduation from our school system. We know the last three years of your school experience have been unprecedented. But you have inspired all of us with your resiliency, your positivity, and your creativity to adapt and find innovative ways to connect and celebrate grade 11, sorry, grade 10, go back and another year, grade 11 and grade 12. We are so proud of you for reaching this milestone today, and we hope that you are proud of yourselves for this extraordinary accomplishment. We know that the last 13 years of formal education have prepared you for an amazing future in whatever your dreams are and what you decide to pursue. As you take the next step out into the world, we hope that the experiences you have as part of our district will provide you with the confidence, ability, and skills to create the success you have worked so hard to achieve today, tonight. I'd like to wish a big thank you to you and your families for being part of our district and for your commitment to your education and future achievements. It takes perseverance, dedication, and strength to reach the milestone of high school graduation. Please be proud of yourselves and all that you have accomplished, and take some time to celebrate a job extraordinarily well done. We look forward to seeing what you accomplish next. I'd like to thank you again for allowing me to celebrate this special occasion with you this evening. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Oakley. Uh, and now I'd like to invite Deputy Mayor Barry Butler to the stage. Look the words from the city of Butler. To, uh, thank all the special guests uh, at the MLA Greg Turner here with us tonight. Uh, we have the administration. Thank you, Mark, for the invitation. 
staff, parents, I like to go a little bit further because it took a lot to get you here, grandparents, and most, and even guardians. But most of all, the graduating class of 2022 of Bernice McNaughton High School. What an awesome time. Wow. Clap <laughs> As a politician, they gave me the mic and they said two to three minutes. Ooh, that is hard. That is hard. So I'm going to try to make it as short as I can. Uh, one of the things I'd like to do is just ask to, for a couple favors tonight. First of all, there's a lot of you that are going to go on to secondary education. You're going to leave the province. You're going to leave this city. I just hope that you keep in the back of your mind that someday that you'll come back. If not to the city, to the province. But mostly to the city of Moncton. You know, we need bright young people to make the city grow and become better in the future. And that's something that you guys and gals can do. I really would love to have you back. The second thing I'll ask you to do is uh, for 30, 40 years I was a police officer before I decided to become a politician. I don't know if I'll ever be a politician. Maybe I'll still like a police officer. But the next thing is, you know, he's worked so hard to get to where he's at today. So many nights working and studying, and parents nagging at you, you know, get up, go to school. You know the drill. It was hard to get here, but you got here. So tonight I ask you this. When you're out in some of a party, probably a lot of a party, probably most of as well. I know I did those many years ago. I would ask you this, that if you're driving, if you're drinking, or you're high, don't die. This is the most important time in your life. You're going to want to another chapter. Please don't make that one mistake to me. And this is not just for me, this is from your parents, your guardians, the people that love you, your friends, your brothers, your sisters, and your grandparents. And if you need a drive, call somebody. Don't get in with somebody that's drinking, or is hot. This next chapter in your life is very, very important. Do well, and remember, don't make a mistake tonight. Thank you. is a long-standing Scottish tradition. It sees the community's leaders pass the plaid to members of the next generation, who will be entrusted to ensure that the legacy of the community lives on. Tonight, we continue this important symbolic gesture. In 1999, Bernice McNaughton High School was reborn. The gauntlet dropped, a challenge proposed, a tradition begins. Over the past 23 years, the people at BMHS have created an institution that strives to develop people who commit to their learning, respect each other, adapt to our ever-changing world, and connect to their school. We, the class of 2022, through the student government co-presidents, Reese Mann and Isaac Taylor, respectfully pass the plaid and all that it symbolizes to the class of 2023, with the expectations that they will continue to promote and build our school community. 
on behalf of their class, incoming student council co-presidents Seth Foster and Noah Lafferty accept the plaid and the legacy it represents. With strength to endure, we pick up the gauntlet and promise to be loyal to the spirit and ideals of Bernice McNaughton High School. Also, we pass along this leather-bound book, complete with the signatures of all past Highlander graduates, that serves as a connection to all those who have contributed to the evolution of our school community. So fare thee well, my own school, and fare thee well a while, and I will come again, my school, though it were 10,000 miles. Now it gives me great pleasure to introduce to you our guest speaker for this evening. Dr. Jean-Paul Boudreau is, a 15th, is, is the 15th president and vice chancellor of Mount Allison University, a leading Canadian undergraduate in subgraduate programs in, this, in, the Eastern, in East Canada. In this role, he has led the university's highly successful COVID-19 response and has championed the university's plan for reimagining its path forward. Recognizing as a transformative leader with almost three decades of experience in Canadian higher education, Dr. Budwo has held numerous leadership positions in several universities in Canada that has allowed him to, in, uh, to initiate positive and, and sustainable change for youth the change makers of tomorrow. Dr. Boudreau is a graduate of the University of New Brunswick, Laurentian University, and earned his PhD in experimental psychology from Tuck University in Boston. In May of 2022, he is recognized as one of Atlantic's top 50 CEOs. And before I say that, there's another place where he studied before he did all this school. He's actually a graduate of Bernice McNaughton, 1982. So please welcome Mr. Uh, Jean-Paul Boudreau, President and Vice Chair of Mount Allison University. Merci, Mr. Dag, tu es très gentil. Thank you for that lovely introduction. It's avec un grand plaisir d'être ici ce soir avec vous pour la remise de des diplômes à cette très, très belle école juste à côté de nous autres ce soir. I'm so pleased to be here tonight and to reconnect with Bernice McLaughlin High School. It is indeed true. This month marks the 40th anniversary of my graduation from McLaughlin. It sounds like a long time ago when I say it, but it doesn't feel that long ago when I was sitting where you were sitting waiting for the guest speaker to finish so I could come up on stage and finally get my hands on that diploma. I promise I will allow you to have that moment very, very soon. Now, when I attended McNaughton, we didn't have the passing of the plaid, but we did have green, so I made sure that I wore the green tonight. Uh, at the time when I came here, the school was largely, as you know, a vocational school intended for students who plan to work in trades like construction, automotive, design, plumbing, and electrical. I was in the electrical stream, and my graduating project was to, wait for it, wire a house. It was my first and last house that I wired. <laughs> Now, there are many, many talented electricians, like my dad was, out there. Thankfully, 
we need them. But I was not destined to become one of them. Instead, I ended up at the University of New Brunswick, where I discovered a passion for psychology. In fact, I enjoyed it so much, I went on to my master's degree and my doctoral degree in psychology with a focus on child development. And I became a professor of psychology, teaching what I had learned to others. Now, it would be easy for me to stand here tonight in front of this august group of graduates and say that my vocational training was a waste, that I went to the wrong school and I learned the wrong things. Well, that would be very, very wrong. Truth is, I got so much from my high school experience. I loved this place. I learned the value of hands-on learning, or learning by doing, something that we know today more by the name of experiential learning. Now, at Mount Allison University, it is something we highly value, and we try to create as many experiential learning opportunities for our graduates, for our students, each and every day, inside and outside the classroom. I learned to take pride in doing something well and to the best of my abilities. And my homeroom teacher and my electrical trades teacher, Mr. Mitten, taught us the importance of stepping up as young people and making a difference. Now, I know many of you are planning to go on to university or to community college, and most of you are probably worried about whether you've made the right choice of a program, of a degree, or an institution. And while well, some of you tonight, I'm sure, are still thinking about it. By the way, we still have space at Bale. <laughs> I checked with the admissions department before I came here tonight, and I said I was going to be speaking to you, and I said, please, bring them in. We'd love to have more. So, but I think when it comes to education, you can't choose wrong. We have four excellent public universities in this great province of New Brunswick, and a great college system in both official languages. Each experience adds to what you are and to what you know. Learning shapes how you think, how you approach your career, your family, and the world around you. Now, you may end up in a program and find it's not quite what you hoped for, not quite right, but that doesn't mean you made the wrong choice. It means you've learned something of value about yourself. Now, I may not use the knowledge I gained about electrical circuits at McNaughton in my current career, but I have absolutely used the broader skills and lessons that I learned in that program throughout my life. From Mr. Mitten to Mr. G. Mitten to Ms. Sanford to Mr. Dole to Ms. Bauer, Mr. Powers, Mr. Cameron to Principal Maybe, the teachers that I had in McNaughton all left an indelible mark on me. They shaped me as a person. So tonight, hats off to all the teachers of Bernice McNaughton High School. Please, a round of applause for your teachers. I still think electrical circuits are kind of cool, and I may be the only university president in Canada who has wired a house, so I'm proud of that. Now, I often hear people say our world is changing rapidly, and they say it with a kind of regret, as if somehow that was a negative thing. I view it quite the opposite. Our world is indeed changing rapidly, and at the same time, what it's doing is opening many new possibilities and opportunities for you. One of the areas that is changing incredibly fast is the area of workplaces. Everything from the type of work that's being done, to how it's being done, to where it's being done. That is especially true coming out of the pandemic. All of that makes people just a little bit nervous. I expect it also makes 
parents and guardians here tonight just a little nervous as well, as they worry about what you'll be able to do with any degree or diploma that you earn, or what kind of work you may find now or in the future. I'm willing to bet from the time that you learn to speak, most of your conversations with adults was probably including three simple questions. What's your name? How old are you? And what do you want to be when you grow up? And I expected that the answer to the last one usually involves something about a specific job title. Nurse, teacher, firefighter. Always seems to be a lot of aspiring firefighters. But the, work, or the world of work isn't quite like that. It's not defined by a job title. It's less about the job title. In fact, I often say I'm not the president of the university. I'm the CEO of Optimism. So it is less about filling a defined role and much more about connecting with people, solving problems, and lifting others. Post-secondary education is also changing to meet this new reality, thankfully. Now, at Mount Allison, we like to say, we're not preparing you for a job, we're preparing you for any job. Chances are, you will find many different roles throughout your life. So the goal is to equip you to be adaptable, to, be, to have multifaceted skills, to be an innovator, a thinker, a problem solver, change leader, and to become a lifelong learner. Because no matter where you're going next or what you're going to be doing, you will continue learning for the rest of your life. Now, up to this point, you've not had much opportunity to direct your own learning because you've been busy building the foundation, learning all those key concepts and skills that each person should know. But from here on out, after tonight, you will be able to choose not only what you learn, but how you learn it. You will be, as I like to say, the architect of your own experience. Broaden your definition of education and learning. Some of your future learning will no doubt take place in the classroom, or in the lab, or in the library, or in the community. But it may also take place on the job, or through your volunteer experience or through something that you just like doing. If you're heading to post-secondary, and I know a number of you are, in the fall, in the future, I do encourage you to make the most, not only of your learning opportunities in the classroom, but especially those outside. They really, really matter. Join a club. Try a new sport, something you've never tried before. Study abroad for a term. Sign up for an internship. Take on a leadership role, connect with your community, or with someone who is different than you. Your unique set of interests, education, and abilities will help you find a path that you are meant to be on. Embrace the opportunity to learn something new. In fact, do more than embrace them. Become an active learner and seek out opportunities to try new things, to better understand people, places, and cultures to discover new interests and new abilities. Now, you've been given a great, you know, a fantastic foundation here at Nagonton, and at the schools that you attended before you came here, like Besboro, Hillcrest, Maplehurst, and others. But you are responsible for what gets built on that foundation, for what gets included for the quality of the work. Now, high schools can be challenging at times because the parameters of who gets to fit in are so often narrow that nobody can meet them. If you ever had to make yourself smaller or something less than you are in order to squeeze through to fit into that available space, let me tell you, the world outside these doors is so much wider. Be responsible for defining who you are. Don't let somebody else tell your story, especially not in today's omnipresent social media. It's your story. Go tell it. 
Class of 2022, I'm honored to have been asked to share this milestone with you tonight. C'est avec un grand, un grand fierté que je suis avec vous ce soir. I wish each of you every success on whatever path you travel. I know some of you may be heading to Mount Allison, maybe a few more after tonight. I hope. If you do come to Mount Allison and Sacre New Brunswick, if you see me, you might see me running through campus or through town or riding my red scooter, stopping and say hi. Congratulations, félicitations, well done, and gros merci. On behalf of the graduating class of 2022, I would like to thank Dr. Bujo for his kind, insightful, and inspirational words. Please accept this gift as a token of our appreciation. Thank you, Mr. Bruder. Uh, now we're going to, I told, I told the grad class before they're coming, uh, we'll ask actually Ms. Tushi and the grad class chorus to come on stage. We're going to do the grad song, but it's going to take a few minutes to say it's great to see former grads here. Where are the former grads? I saw a few in the back here. Woo! It's great for you to come back, so let's bring a hat to the former grads, come and visit. All good, Mr. Sushi? Oh, 
Really quiet today. I've never heard this rock class as quiet. It's fun of squirrel. Usually, like we have a practice and we're it's crazy. I've never seen that. Okay, so now it's time. Actually, this time I'd like to uh, please introduce the valedictorian for the class of 2022. The graduating class has chosen Avery Dolan to represent them tonight. Avery. <laughs> Avery will be attending McGill in the fall to study psychology. Please join me in welcoming the stage Avery Dolan. Good evening, honored guests, friends, family, teachers, and of course, the class of 2022. I am so excited to be up here today addressing all of you. There are some especially important people missing here tonight. Sadly, I did not have enough tickets to invite the staff of the Tim Hortons on St. George Street, who are the reason most of us are graduating today. I knew that summarizing the past four years of our lives would prove to be a challenge. So I started writing my speech as soon as I was elected valedictorian. I went home, opened a Word document, titled it Valedictorian Speech, and then left it blank for three weeks. <laughs> but I swear, I've worked hard on it since then, and I've written a speech that will attempt to encapsulate our high school experience. Our time at BMHS has been one that is totally unique to our graduating class. From one real year of high school to A and B days, and even a strike, the past few years have been a roller coaster. Our roller coaster ride started off tame. We entered grade 9, race based, and ready to tackle whatever challenges high school threw at us. Grade 10 threw us a loop and disrupted our high school routine even though some of us embraced this change since we didn't have to finish grade 10 math. In grade 11, we were separated from our friends, but that did not stop the Highlander family from persisting. In grade 12, tragedy struck as our class was afflicted with the horrible case of stage 4 senioritis. Now, at the end of our senior year, we can finally celebrate our accomplishment as normally as possible, although it would almost feel more normal if I were watching graduation on my laptop having just woken up five minutes ago. With today's ceremonies, our required schooling is over, and it is surreal to say the least. It feels like only yesterday we were minor niners, complaining about how boring advisory was and how big and scary the grade 12s were. We marveled at their height and full beards and wondered how we would ever deal with calculus. Even though some of us still do not have a full beard or know how to do calculus, our days of blocking the halls are over, and it is time to become the scary big kids we were always meant to be. This has proved to be no easy task. We have navigated through some difficult obstacles here at McNaughton, the most difficult being the student parking lot. <laughs> so 
Some of us tackled writing endless essays, perfecting our skills in woodshop, or solving the world's problems and world issues. But no matter how big the task, we were always up to the challenge. What is most important about today's ceremony is celebrating you, the class of 2022. We have lost some Highlanders to other schools and hockey teams and gained some Highlanders along the way, but without each and every one of you, we would not be the amazing Highlander family we are today. Sure, we know each other like family, but most of all, we are always there for each other. We've experienced so many highs and lows together that I could not be prouder of our class. We as Highlanders have so many people to thank for our feeling of family. Our educators, who deal with our senioritis and still help us improve every day, they make teaching who people who do not want to be taught look easy. To our coaches and club leaders, who take time out of their personal lives to make sure that we can be part of a team. To our administrators, who may make your job harder, but without you, our high school experience would not have been possible. To our parents, thank you for supporting us during these tumultuous times. We may not say it enough, but we love you, and without you, we could not have made it here. In the coming months, some of us will be moving away from our families and friends and navigating our world, the world on our own. We will be leaving the familiarity of Bernice McNaughton and venturing into the unknown world of post-secondary. This unfamiliarity will be challenging, but I know that we will embrace it and become the best people we can be. Maya Angelou said that we as human beings at our best can only create opportunities. This is the time for us to create opportunities for ourselves. From this point on, our world will expand and doors will open for us. Take those opportunities and never second guess yourself. Because one thing that everyone has learned after these past few years is that you can get through anything and accomplish anything you can put your mind to. There will be times when you will doubt yourself. You may feel like an imposter in the adult world that we are about to enter. But know that you can accomplish anything you set your mind to and that new doors are opening all the time. Our high school experience may not have been typical, but it has proven that we are resilient people who can take any challenge the world throws at us. No matter how cliche it is, I want to remind you to be yourself. Every one of us has something completely unique and special to offer the world. And without our differences, <laughs> no matter what the world tells you, your differences are valuable. You may not dress like everybody else or think like everybody else, but without our differences, the world would be a lot less interesting. By the end of the night, you will have shaken Mr. Dagle's hand, received your diploma, commemorated the moment on Instagram, and probably captioned it with a Mac Miller lyric. <laughs> However you choose to remember this moment, know that these are some of the most special years of our lives, with only bigger and better things to come. This is a very emotional night for some of us. Whether you're ecstatic or in tears, hold on to these emotions. These feelings show your passion for your time at Bernice with Martin, passion that you can carry with you into the future. Our wild roller coaster ride has come to an end, but the memories will be part of us forever, and we will carry a piece of each other into everything that we do next. Thank you. Avery, come back, please. <laughs> grad class of 2022, I would like to thank A.B. for her awesome speech that reminded us of our roller coaster ride and how we persevered. Please accept this gift as a token of our appreciation. Thank you, Avery. Thank you, Grace. That was Grace Pavilion. Now it's time for a few prizes. Uh, here we go. Uh, the Governor General Academic Medal is awarded to a student graduating with the highest academic average. Since 1873, this academic medal has recognized the outstanding scholarship achievements of students in Canada. It gives me great pleasure to announce the winner of the Governor General's Medal tonight. On behalf of the Governor General of Canada, I am pleased to present this medal to please come forward, Scala Dorcas.
The first medal for leadership is awarded to a graduate who has displayed outstanding leadership in student affairs throughout their high school. I am pleased to announce the winner of this medal for student leadership as Cha Yi Do. Time for diplomas. We will now begin the presentation of diplomas and awards. I will be assisted by Vice Principal Catherine Colbert Beers and also Vice Principal Mr. David McDonald. The names of the graduate will be read by Veronica Carpenter, Jeff Lloyd, Emily Layden, and Melanie Melanson. Graduates names will be read, their level announced, their diploma given, their tassel turn, followed by the presentation of bursaries, scholarships, and awards. We invite you to read the program carefully for, for full details about many, uh, many awards and prizes being presented here this evening. In the program you will see as well that the graduates level of achievement are indicated the addition, please refer to the backup program for the Lissing University scholarships as well. As you notice, we have a photographer here uh, in the front, so we ask uh, the audience or the, the input, oops, I'll move. I'll ask everybody not to come to the front and take pictures. We will have a, a one picture for everybody. So you'll have the grads and myself for poor grads. But it's, it is a memento, and the pictures will be out on the table as you leave at the end of the uh, ceremony. So you can pick up a picture. If you want an extra one, it's $5. But there is one picture available free, uh, no cost. I'll try to have a different smile every time. So. <laughs> Samuel Anderson. Oh, just, just kidding. Just a practice, just a joke.
Samuel Anderson Acker. First Division, Samuel has been awarded the Royal Canadian Legion Branch No. 6 Bursary, a PMHS Houses Bursary, the Riverview Lions Club Bursary, the ISDA Bursary, and a New Brunswick Public Colleges Entrance Fellowship. Gracie Ann Agnew, First Division. Maj Amar Alani, First Division. Brooklyn Rose Allen. Brooklyn has been awarded a French Immersion Certificate. Joshua J. Young Ann, High Honors. Owen Keith Andrews Wilkins. Lillian Jessica Offrey. Honors. Lily has been awarded a French Immersion Certificate. Sophia Giselle Avila Menendez. Honors. Nathaniel Lorenzo Harold Joseph Babino. Janelle Danielle Bachman, honors. Callie Badger, First Division. Callie has been awarded a French Immersion Second Language Certificate. Braden Joseph Berrio, First Division. Braden has been awarded a French Immersion Certificate. Braden has also been awarded a City of Moncton Immersion Scholarship and has received an entrance scholarship from the Université de Moncton. Ruth Beck, First Division. Connor Bell, Honors with Distinction. Connor has been awarded a French Immersion Certificate. Connor has also been awarded the Avard Marvin Memorial Scholarship, the Actus Law Bursary, a Three Fathers Memorial Bursary, a BMHS School Staff Scholarship, and he has also received an Entrance Scholarship from Dalhousie University. Matthew Bellavo. Matthew has been awarded a French Immersion Certificate. Amber Marie Bishop, First Division. Amber has been awarded a French Immersion Certificate. Justin Cat Blanchet, First Division. Justin has been awarded a French Immersion Certificate. Christina Bellani. Yeah! Christina has been awarded a French Immersion Certificate and has received an Entrance Scholarship from the Université de Moncton. Colin Pellel. Ethan Dermot William Briand. Five honors. Ethan has been awarded a French Immersion Certificate. Arthur Burmistra in absentia. Connor Hugh Campbell, honors. Connor has been awarded a French Immersion Certificate. Nate Tyson Campbell, First Division. Nate has been awarded a French Immersion Certificate. Heidi Rose Cantaloupe. Honors with Distinction. Heidi has been awarded a French Immersion Certificate and has received an Entrance Scholarship from Dalhousie University. Isabella Monica Carew. Honors. 
Isabella has been awarded a French Immersion Certificate and has received an entrance scholarship from Cape Breton University. <laughs> Sophia Grace Carpenter, honors. <laughs> Sophia has been awarded a French Immersion Certificate. Sophia has also been awarded a BMHS Houses Bursary, a Besborough School Staff Bursary, and has received an entrance scholarship from Acadia University. <laughs> Cooper Kevin Carson, First Division. <laughs> Nathan Charles Casey, First Division, in absentia. Annie Chan, in absentia. Stanley Chen, honors. Stanley has been awarded a Friends of Highlanders bursary. Brandon Isaac Churchill, honors. Madison Hope Klain, First Division. Samuel Jacob Cogswell, First Division. Samuel has been awarded a French Immersion Certificate. Kim Al Palinares, First Division. Ben Connor, First Division. Ben has been awarded the Knights of Columbus Council 9270 Bursary, the Bishop Godin Bursary, and the Steve Nixon Memorial Bursary. Ben has also received an entrance scholarship from Acadia University. <laughs> Noah Cooling, First Division. <laughs> Jessica Catherine Cormier, Honors. <laughs> Jessica has been awarded a French Immersion Certificate. Keenan Derek Crook, in absentia. Ellie Jean Cross, First Division. <laughs> Ellie has been awarded a French Immersion Certificate. Fonda Dai, High Honors. Fonda has been awarded a BMHS Houses Bursary and has received an entrance scholarship from the University of Waterloo. Jonathan Ryan Dawson, First Division. <laughs> Carola Delacqua Bellavitis. <laughs> Carola is visiting internationally. She's an international student from Italy. Judea Jerina Biscara Di Mondal. Ronald D. Moff. <laughs> Tam Jenny Din. Highlanders. <laughs> Jenny has received an entrance scholarship from St. Francis Xavier University. <laughs> Tommy Do Lee. High honors. Tony is the recipient of a BMHS Student Distinction Award, the Burks Medal for Leadership, and Trummy has also been awarded a French Immersion Certificate, a Besborough School Staff Bursary, the Ron Smythe Memorial Scholarship for Outstanding Community Leadership, and the Judge W. W. Wells Memorial Scholarship. <laughs> Caitlin Faith Doiron, Honors. Caitlin has been awarded a French Immersion Certificate and the Anne Phillips Memorial Bursary. Caitlin has also received an entrance scholarship from Mount Allison University.
Adri Ann Marie Dolan, honors. <laughs> Avery has been awarded a French Immersion Certificate. Avery has also been awarded the Ben Flanagan Society Valedictorian Bursary and a Besbro School Staff Bursary. <laughs> Harry Domitz, honors. Harry has been awarded a French Immersion Certificate. Carter David Charles Donnell, First Division. <laughs> Carter has been awarded a French Immersion Certificate. You sing Dong Honors. Skyla Dorcas Honors with Distinction. Skyla has been awarded the Governor General's Academic Medal. Skyla has also been awarded a French Immersion Certificate and has received an entrance scholarship from McGill University. Alice Du, Honors with Distinction. Dara Patricia Dysart, High Honors. Dara is the recipient of the BMHS Tartan Spirit Award and has received an entrance scholarship from Dalhousie University. Kiana Brooke Evoy, Honors. <laughs> Hannah Eiking K. <laughs> Noral Zara Fadil, High Honors. <laughs> Noor has received an entrance scholarship from Dalhousie University. Vincent Filion Honors in Absentia. Jacob Fletcher. Joshua Flynn. Joshua has been awarded a BMHS house bursary. 
Sean Founds in absentia. Nathan Joseph Furlot honors. <laughs> Nate has been awarded a French immersion certificate. Sarah Jane Gallen. Sarah has been awarded a French immersion certificate. Adriana Garcia Burgos honors. Anders Good. Jack Stephen Goosetree, First Division. Jack has been awarded a French Immersion Certificate. Shaquan Alexia Graham. Remus Grasson, Honors. Remus has been awarded a French Immersion Certificate and has received an entrance scholarship from Carleton University. Yeah. Robert Grasson, Honors. Yeah. Robert has been awarded a French Immersion Certificate. Braden Joseph Greffer. Braden has been awarded a French Immersion Certificate. Henry Gua, honors. Henry has been awarded a French Immersion Certificate. Athena Renee Harris, <laughs> Madison Carter Hartop, honors. Madison has been, uh, Madison has received an entrance scholarship from Mount Allison University. Taya Hyatt, high honors. Taya is the recipient of a BMHS Student Distinction Award and has received an entrance scholarship from Mount Allison University. Jacqueline Elizabeth Hayward. Honors. Jacqueline is the recipient of the BMHS Student Volunteer of the Year Award and has been awarded a French Immersion Certificate. Jacqueline has also received an entrance scholarship from St. Francis Xavier University. Michael High. Emmett Padraig Hogan, First Division. <laughs> Emmett has been awarded a French Immersion Certificate. <laughs> Matthew Hunter, <laughs> Honors. Khan Huynh. Honors. Ben has received an entrance scholarship from Mount Allison University. Non Huynh, high honors. Francisco Isenza, first division, in abstention. Victoria Yometiba, First Division. Frida Jabari, High Honors. Frida has been awarded a City of Moncton Immersion Scholarship and a French Immersion Certificate. Frida has also received an Entrance Scholarship from the Université de Moncton. Javon Marquis. Thomas Johnson, First Division. <laughs> Sophie Jones. <laughs> Ma
Mira Aurora Joshi. Yeah. Mira has been awarded a French Immersion Certificate, a Besboro School Staff Bursary, and has received an entrance scholarship from the University of Waterloo. Yeah. Jaehun Jung, high honors. Jaehun has received an entrance scholarship from Dalhousie University. Minso Amy Jung, high honors. Minso has received an entrance scholarship from the University of Toronto. Sarah Lynn Kyer, honors. Suzanne Camille, high honors. Suzanne has been awarded a French Immersion Certificate. Suzanne has also been awarded a Besboro School Staff Bursary and has received an entrance scholarship from the University of Toronto. <laughs> Abigail Elizabeth King, honors. Abby has been awarded the CFUW Moncton College Scholarship and the Olton College Memorial Scholarship. <laughs> Ethan Andrew Charles Kendall. <laughs> John Kylie, honors. John has received an entrance scholarship from the University of Waterloo. Kion Woo Kim, high honors. Kion Woo has been awarded a French Immersion Certificate. Kion Kim, high honors. Kion has been awarded a BMHS School Staff Scholarship. Sally Ko, honors. <laughs> Jerome Ko, honors. <laughs> Jerome has been awarded a French Immersion Certificate and has received an entrance scholarship from the University of Ottawa. <laughs> Amy Erica Lanning, honors. <laughs> Amy has been awarded a French Immersion Certificate. Devin Daniel Lane. Ryan Thomas Williams. <laughs> a Friends of the Highlanders bursary. Domai V. Lee, honors. <laughs> Nobao Hugh Lee, honors with distinction. <laughs> Jasmine has been awarded the CFUW Moncton University Scholarship the Greater Moncton Women's Progress Club Scholarship, the Life Touch Award, the H. Dell McCauley Memorial Bursary, the Jimmy Burke Mer Bursary for Community Service, the Ron Smythe Opportunity Scholarship, and the Ron Smythe Memorial Scholarship for Outstanding Community Leadership. <laughs> Abigail Marie LeBlanc, honors. Abigail has been awarded a French Immersion Certificate and has received an entrance scholarship from Dalhousie University. Benjamin Daniel LeBlanc. Ben has been awarded a French Immersion Certificate. Paris Jordan Sweeney LeBlanc honors. Paris has been awarded a French Immersion Certificate and the Hillcrest School Bursary.
Let's go, Val. Nathaniel Alexandre Ledoux. <laughs> Nathaniel has been awarded a French Immersion Certificate. Alexis Diane Lee in absentia. Daniel Lee. <laughs> Jacob Emmanuel Legg. Jacob has been awarded a French Immersion Certificate. Cooper Henry Lennox, high honors. Cooper has been awarded a French Immersion Certificate. Jotham Serape Lesnick, honors. Sophia Angela Lewis. Honors. <laughs> Alyssa Christina Little. <laughs> Alyssa has received an entrance scholarship from New England College. <laughs> Abby May Lorette. Honors. <laughs> Abby has been awarded a French Immersion Certificate and a Bellsboro School Staff Bursary. Woo. Tyler James Robert Lutz. First of all. <laughs> Tyler is the recipient of the BMHS Commitment to Learning Award. Matteo Gabriel Luzio Santa Maria. Honors. We'll wait for him. McEwen, honors. <laughs> Emmett Oswald McGlashing. <laughs> Dana Paula Macias Chavez. <laughs> Jewel McIntosh. <laughs> Abby has been awarded a French Immersion Certificate and has received an entrance scholarship from McGill University. <laughs> Matthew Donald McLagan. <laughs> Jaden Emily Quigley, First Division. <laughs> Alex McLeod, 
Alex has been awarded a Friends of the Highlanders bursary. Brayden Sean McPhee, honors. Patrick Joseph Mann, honors. Patrick has been awarded a French Immersion Certificate and has received an entrance scholarship from Acadia University. Reese Peyton Mann, high honors. Reese is the recipient of the Highlander of the Year Award. Reese is also the BMHS Female Athlete of the Year and has been awarded the Taylor Cup Medal. Reese has also been awarded the Becca Schofield Youth Volunteer Award, a Three Fathers Memorial Bursary, the BMHS Student Government Bursary, the Ron Smythe Memorial Scholarship for Outstanding Community Leadership, the DNA Swag Ladies Hoop Classic Bursary, the Jeannie Burke Bursary for Community Service, a French Immersion Certificate, and she has received an entrance scholarship from St. Francis Xavier University. Connor William Martin. <laughs> Dakota Frederick McDonald. Award. Hope McFadden, First Division. Ella Jane McNally, Honors. French Immersion Certificate. Grace McWilliam, High Honors. Grace has been awarded a French Immersion Certificate. Joshua Michael Melanson, Honors. Joshua has been awarded the Watts Leasing Incorporated Scholarship and a French Immersion Certificate. Joshua has also received an entrance scholarship from Crandall University. Cody Stephen Milson. Emily Elizabeth Milson. Michael Claude Milton, First Division, in absentia. Johan Min, Honors. <laughs> Catherine Paula Menard, High Honors. Catherine is a recipient of a BMHS Student Distinction Award and has been awarded the Life Touch Award. Catherine also received an entrance scholarship from Mount Allison University. <laughs> Ijung Mu, honors. <laughs> Alexander Mark Mullet, first division. Alexander has been awarded a French Immersion Certificate. Desmond James Francis Murphy, Honors. <laughs> Emily Dawn Murphy, Honors with Distinction. Emily is 
the recipient, recipient of a BMHS Student Distinction Award and has been awarded a French Immersion Certificate. Emily has also been awarded the East Coast Restaurant Group Scholarship and has received an entrance scholarship from Mount St. Vincent University. <laughs> Nicholas Carl Murphy, honors. <laughs> Nicholas has been awarded a French Immersion Certificate and has received an entrance scholarship from Acadia University. Brayden James Ray Murray, in absentia. Hugh Nguyen, First Division. <laughs> Ni Nguyen, Honors. <laughs> Ni has received an entrance scholarship from the University of Ottawa. <laughs> Billy Nguyen, Honors with Distinction. Fabrice Neo Quizera, First Division. <laughs> Jasmine Bailey Marie Noel, First Division. <laughs> Jasmine has been awarded a BMHS Turnaround Achievement Award. <laughs> Meadow Adriana Oakley. Owen David O'Donnell. <laughs> David Dong Hyuk O. Honors with distinction. <laughs> David has been awarded a French Immersion Certificate and has received an entrance scholarship from McGill University. John Richard Orozco, honors. <laughs> Jack is the recipient of the Taylor, Taylor Cup and Medal. He has also been awarded the Arsene O'Brien Memorial Scholarship and has received an entrance scholarship from St. Francis Xavier University. <laughs> Kyle Patrick Padilla, honors. Kyle has been awarded a French Second Language Certificate. David Jiwon Pang. David has been awarded a French Immersion Certificate. Benjamin Simon Petuhoff. Honors. Don Fan. Honors. Scholarship from St. Mary's University. Joel Tybiet B. High honors. Joel has been awarded a French Immersion Certificate. Cameron Pink, First Division. Cameron has been awarded a French Immersion Certificate.
Sydney Ray Pollard Honors. <laughs> Ethan Alexander Powers Honors. Ethan has received an entrance scholarship from the University of New Brunswick. Alicia Honors. J. Ram Puna High Honors. J. Ram is this year's BMHS Male Athlete of the Year and has been awarded a French Immersion Certificate. J. Ram has also received an entrance scholarship from St. Francis Xavier University. Adam Rats. Honors. Adam has been awarded a French Immersion Certificate. Gergo Rats. Honors. Gergo has been awarded a BMHS Houses Bursary and a French Immersion Certificate. Jun Ziatong, Honors. CCA has been awarded a French Immersion Certificate and has received an entrance scholarship from Mount Allison University. Brooke Ritchie, First Division. Olivia Maud Rocca, High Honors. Olivia has been awarded a French Immersion Certificate and has received an entrance scholarship from the University of Toronto. Libby Nicole Rowland, High Honors. Libby has been awarded a Friends of the Highlanders Bursary and a French Immersion Certificate. Libby has also been awarded the J.D. Irving Corporate Scholarship and has received an entrance scholarship from Queen's University. Emma J. Rose Honors. Emma has been awarded a Friends of the Highlanders Bursary and a French Immersion Certificate. Emma has also received an entrance scholarship from Mount Allison University. Jody Lee Rossignol in absentia. Shani Tanya Salomon. <laughs> Shani has been awarded the UNB Good Energy Scholarship and a French Immersion Certificate. Morgan Sarson, honors. Kayla Faye Sonye, High Honors. <laughs> Kayla has been awarded a Friends of the Highlanders Bursary and a French Immersion Certificate. Emma Grace Sauvert, High Honors. <laughs> Emma is the recipient of the Highlander Humanitarian of the Year Award. Emma has also been awarded a French Immersion Certificate. Junior So, high honors. Peter Shin, high honors. Peter has been awarded a French Immersion Certificate and has received an entrance scholarship from Dalhousie University. Brock Lane Sinclair, honors with distinction. Brock has been awarded a Three Fathers Memorial Bursary, the Ron Smythe Memorial Scholarship for Outstanding Community Leadership, and the Scott McKay Memorial Scholarship. Brock has also received an entrance scholarship from McGill University. <laughs> Duncan Jonah Smith, First Division. Bri 
Frida Tanisha Steves, First Division. Donovan Raymond Steves, First Division. Matthew Gordon Stewart, First Division. Luna Stockford. Yuhan Sun, High Honors. Linda Yvonne Tarling, Honors. Isaac Ramsey Taylor, Honors. Isaac has been awarded a BMHS Houses Bursary, a Bedsboro School Staff Bursary, and a French Immersion Certificate. Logan Skyler Thompson Wood. Colin Tobin, First Division. Blasco Tran, First Division, in absentia. Ayumikin Tunde Brahma. Zainet Rabia Ubera, High Honors, in absentia. Caleb Velarde, Honors. Kobe Ty White, in absentia. Duran Wong, honors with distinction. Gavin Andrew Weaver. Ryan Wiley. Maddie Claire Withers, honors. Malcolm Daniel Wood, honors in absentia. Megan June Young, honors. Megan has been awarded a French Immersion Certificate. I was all there, so maybe I lost my script somewhere, but I and I forgot they were all there. <laughs> all right, we're almost done. Big part's been done, so I'm going to ask Miss Boudreau to come up and do a little presentation of a few of our academic stars. graduation of 202 students. 43 of our graduates have distinguished themselves by receiving a diploma with high honors, meaning they have achieved an average above 
Within this elite group, there are 10 exceptional students who have received medallions tonight indicating they have graduated honors with distinction. That is, they have attained the top 10 averages in their graduating class, all having achieved averages above 97.9% in a very challenging academic program. I would ask the following students to please stand as their names are called in alphabetical order and to remain standing until all 10 names have been read. Connor Bell. Heidi Cantella. Skyla Dorcas. Alice Dew. New Lee. Emily Murphy. Billy Nguyen. David O. Brock Sinclair. Duran Wong. Congratulations to you all. You may be seated. Many of our graduates will be pursuing a post-secondary education. We are proud to say that through their hard work and dedication, they have been awarded in total over $610,000 in scholarships and bursaries. Well done, guys. This day is very special as it marks a new beginning for our grads. Grads of 2022, your sense of tradition is strong and will endure. Your courage will be sustained and your pride is steadfast as you step into your futures. Our next graduates will follow in your footsteps. This journey would not have been possible without the guiding principle of the dedicated Bernice McNaughton teachers and administrators, our PSSC, our unwavering support of you, the parents, and the guardians. As well, thanks to the new, numerous community organizations and businesses who have so generously offered their financial support to our grads through scholarships and bursaries. I also would like to thank the Graduation Organizing Committee the special invited guest, Dr. Jean-Paul Boudreau, the BMHS Grad Chorus and Band, and all the guest presenters. As well, I thank the grade 11 parents who have certainly helped throughout supporting us through this, because we did ask their help a few times, and the grade 11 students that helped with prom with the grad uh, evening and also tonight. You are invited to enjoy some refreshments right after, and time for pictures, and time to spend a little bit of time together, grads. Maybe your last time as a group. Uh, you also can pick up your photo that they took the pictures during that whole time. They're all printed and ready in the back. If you want some extra, as I said earlier, it's $5. Extra is $5 each. Thanks, Adam, for some pressing. Always precise. <laughs> I'll say just a quick off script thing. Grads of 2022, you've been through a lot. So happy to have this back as a group. It is important. It is a time in your life where you're going to cherish. And as I said, when you go up the stage, you know, I, I like to joke when you're standing there, but really it's about the moment. It's about the memories. It's about the time you spend together, the hard times. Discussion many of you had in my office about multiple different subjects or, or issues, it was great. I wish you the best of luck in the future. Personally, I really am going to miss this group. We're going to remember you for a very long time. At this time, I'll ask the grads to please stand. 
Please turn to your left and face the audience. Families and friends remain seated while the graduates sing the school song and then leave the hall to a recessional march. I have to say one thing, for these students, they don't know the song as well as some students in the past, because for two years we weren't allowed to gather and be together to sing this song. I'm going to ask Mira Joshi to lead the group. Congratulations, class of 2022! 